She's one of only five elite entertainers to hold an Oscar, a Tony, a Grammy, and an Emmy. She's the queen of entertainment. She's Whoopi Goldberg. Born Karen Elaine Johnson on November 13, 1955 in New York City, Whoopi was raised by a single mom. Although a shy kid, Whoopi loved imitating people on television and making her family laugh. Her neighborhood exposed her to a melting pot of people, giving the aspiring actress a lot of material to work with. Well, Whoopi grew up in the grit and grime and excitement of New York, and there's no doubt that that influenced her work. Being a city kid also exposed her to drugs, and by 17, she went into rehab, checking out a year later with her drug counselor husband and expecting her first baby. The teen mom yearned for more than cooking, cleaning, and being a wife. So she packed her bags and daughter Alexandra and headed to California, divorced, to pursue an acting career. She joined the Blake Street Hawkeyes, a San Francisco improv group. Hoping to make people laugh before seeing her material, she changed her name to Whoopi Cushion, but eventually settled with Whoopi Goldberg. Not wanting to share the stage, the comedic actress began developing her own material and eventually produced her first one-woman show. Whoopi's controversial range of characters pushed the envelope on race, gender, and sex. The comic Spook Show caught the attention of director Mike Nichols, who turned the one-woman act into a Broadway hit. Wanting to cross over to the big screen, she got her chance with her film debut in The Color Purple. Her breakthrough performance garnered Whoopi critical acclaim and her first Oscar nomination for Best Actress. Everyone was sending her scripts every single day. She didn't like anything she saw. She was like, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. The role of Ghost came along. Originally, they did not want her for that role. She was really lobbying hard for that role. Patrick Swayze was pushing on her behalf, and so she ended up getting it. The film was a blockbuster hit, with Whoopi being the second black woman to take home an Oscar. The Academy Award winner's success hit a new plateau as she dabbled in all areas of the entertainment industry. In 1994, Whoopi became the first female and first African American to host the Oscars. Wanting to expand her resume, she co-produced and sat center square in the popular television game show, Hollywood Squares. By 2007, she was searching for a new role, and an opportunity came knocking. But this time, it wasn't for a film, it was for a seat on the daytime talk show, The View. Whoopi joined the Chatterfest as co-host moderating the discussion of daily hot topics. Even with her busy schedule, Whoopi finds time to give back. As UN ambassador, she's involved in numerous projects that support underprivileged children, women's rights, and AIDS awareness. Since 1986, she co-hosted the Comic Relief Benefit for the Homeless, raising over $40 million.